So this will probably be the final video on the exhaust. Still might tweak it a little bit, um, but it'll be the final one going over the exhaust. I know I gave you guys a sound clip in the last one of it starting up, so um, I'll probably wait to start it up again until it's back on all four. But today is going to be finishing up some small stuff. So um, the tail pipe section, I cut it from that uh, pretty much from the muffler so what I'm gonna do today is I was talking about getting a clamp forward or v-band which I don't think is gonna happen I think I'm gonna just weld it up so I know it's in the car with some limited access to it but when I lifted the body up or put the jack on the body or frame lifted that up from the suspension it gives you a lot more uh, access to it so I think I should be able to get the welder up in there and um, get all the way around it so I'll start with the, the bottom side get some tacks in there and then well I'll make sure I get the top first <laughs> so um, if there's enough access to get the top I'll weld it up in there if not I'll have to figure something else out but I think that's the route I'm gonna go so it's just gonna be one solid piece instead of two different pieces. Um, I don't know I wanted to be able to remove it, but I figured it's it's acceptable, so um, I'll keep the exhaust how it is, so I'll be able to do one piece. Still debating on how I wanna um, install the hangers. If I just wanna drill some bolts, put some rib nuts in there, and then tack the hangers on, or if I wanna go with a different style, like little hooks that are on the Elko um, and see where the I might lift the Elko back up see where the hangers are located and how they're mounted but for the most part it's got to figure out uh, a few good spots for it and mount it up so yeah without talking too much it's hot outside but it's cold in the garage so um, thought about getting the bike out it's, it's bike weather and January for some reason, um, but I don't feel like moving <laughs> two cars just to get the bike out. So come out, mess around in the garage a little bit, and finish up this, this exhaust. So I'll cut. Uh, let me just jack the car up a little bit and see if there's room to get the or yeah, get the welder up in there or not. So yeah, there's just enough room to get the welder up in there, so be doing a little bit of welding um, up under the car. I'm not a fan of it, but it's got to be done, so let me triple check, make sure there's no leaks or anything, and uh, I just don't want those sparks and everything flying back, but I think I'm covered up enough, so. Wish me luck. Alright, now this last one, this last weld. Now I've had some bad welds, but I could honestly say this one was, it was ugly. Um, but it's on there, so I have a jack kind of supporting it for the height I want. But I'll climb up under here and show you guys everything. So that's all on. That's pretty much where that's going to sit. That's that ugly weld. Even took the grinder to it. I'm not happy with that one. But there's clearance there. Clearance there. So we're all good. That's one piece. And the rest of the exhaust. So there's room. 
Yeah, I think that's good. Might be able to slide this over just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good there. Yeah, we should be good. I don't want it too close to that control arm, even though I think it's clear. Yeah, so that's pretty much where I'll try to try to keep it. There's still room there, so that moves no problem. And clearance here. I think that's the height I want. Clearance there, so should be good there. And looking at it from a side profile, I think there's plenty of clearance, so we should be good. I need to. Ah. All I pretty much need to do now is um, figure out I want to have the hangers. I'm not going to mess with the jack stands there. I'm going to keep everything at that height, so. Um, yeah, try to see where I want to mount these hangers. If not, climb up under the Elko, see where it's mounted on there, and then either go with the hangers I have or go pick up the the hook style um, like the Elko has. But uh, that's probably it for now. I'll catch you guys back on here in a little bit once I decide how to get the hangers on there. All right, back on the phone, and I think I figured out how I'm gonna do the hangers. It's gonna be two back here, and then I'm gonna have to modify one that goes up closer. The one on the Elko, that's kind of what I'm basing it off of. They use the bolt holes for the drive shaft loop, which is it's smart, um, <laughs> but I don't think I put the drive shaft loop back on the Elko. That's why. So. I had to modify the drive shaft loop for the Elko, but um, anyway, I'm gonna modify it so it's gonna work. Even when I put the drive shaft loop on, it'll still work with it. I'll use the same hole, or if not, both holes. So I'm getting a little creative. It's like five bucks, so or five or six bucks, so not too worried about cutting it up. But I think I'm gonna cut this flat part with all the holes in it. I'm gonna cut that and then how I have it angled, kind of have it marked where it's gonna line up perfect. Um, I'm just gonna weld that flat piece on top of this piece here. And so the bolt holes will be facing this way and I'll be able to bolt it onto where the drive shaft loop, loop goes. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna have to um, hammer these out a little bit, flatten them or curve them a little bit so that they fit on the, um, so that they fit a little flatter. That makes sense. You see that gap there? So, it's a pretty big gap, so just hammer it down, help curve it over a little bit. But as far as these back ones go, I thought they had bolt holes for them. Um, so I climbed up under here, and I noticed they just welded it on the stud and then threw a bolt on there. So, I think that's what I might do with these. Um, got the height I want. So, I'm thinking, I don't want to go too far back and have it like up here. So, I think I'll come back here and um, weld a stud onto the frame here then line it up where I want it I'll cut this bracket down some so it's not a whole bunch of extra but yeah just weld a stud to the frame and same thing I'll hammer that down a little bit to fit with the curve where it's going to go but, so I'll put one there and then just looking at the yeah, should have should have got the creeper. Um, the good thing this is the the work hoodie. So the second one, I'll probably do the same thing next to these ugly welds, 
and this tack something there and or tack a stud on there and be able to run a bolt on it so that's the plan I was looking I don't think it's gonna be too close to this brake line so that should be good if not or if I'm worried about it I just go put some heat wrap on there I'll definitely put some heat wrap on the fuel lines up there where are they at so yeah I'll wrap those I still need to get those uh, secure right now they're just they have the P clamps on there but zip tied into place for now so I'm gonna get all the zip ties off of here I think there's one holding the lines together there so get that one off and get these two off and I think I see one more on the fuel lines up there they're just holding them together but I have actual clamps for them I just never put them into place and then get one of those rollover uh, breathers for the vent line so you need to do that also um, but yeah, that's the plan. So, a couple tacks here, a couple tacks here, and then cut and modify one of these brackets. Ah, so, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. It's the right way, it's the wrong way. I don't know, but somebody else did it on that one. Uh, so, it's going to be the right way today. Uh, but yeah, let me. Let me start uh, sanding down some areas on the frame. Find a couple. Uh, that's a, find a couple nuts and bolts, and hopefully I have some. If not, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do it. Um, but I don't know. I have a couple, so I'm sure I have at least two of them, two nut and bolts laying around. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much told you guys how I'm going to do it, so let me stop talking and just make it happen. Alright, so the hangers are all in. Um, not sure how well it's going to pick up, but I think I have to tighten up one of them. Or, yeah, just tighten up one of them, want to lower it back to the ground have the rear sway bar up under there so I need to grab that and install that once it's back on the ground but yeah this is definitely gonna get chopped down a little bit so not much but I definitely chop it down while it's on the car no problem um, but yeah that's about it for the exhaust it was a it was a learning experience um, but Overall, I feel pretty good with it. I said it's not perfect, but I've done everything to this car where it sits in the garage, so I'm happy with it. Total cost for the exhaust, obviously not counting my labor. Um, I think the exhaust piping was between 150 and 175. Um, so. Let's call it 175 for the exhaust or for the piping kit, um, and then 40 bucks for the gas, another 10 bucks for the wire, and I already had the cutoff wheels and pretty much everything else. So I've already had all the tools. Technically, had the welder and welding gas and wire just ran out. So um, 175. Ah, let's call it 150. I think it's closer to 150. So, 150, or, yeah, 150, 40, 50, so, 200, if you caught, or, in between 200 and 225, um, depending on the cost of the kit. So, if I had to take it to a shop, it'd probably been five plus, so, half the cost. I learned something, learned a new skill, got to practice some welding, and got my exhaust done. So, I'm not gonna give you guys a start up video on this one. Uh, still wanna hook up some stuff under the hood, uh, and put a different tune, or change, change some stuff on the Terminator X um, before I start it up again. And pretty much set it back on the ground because 
besides the drive shaft loop, I had everything up under here that I needed to do. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. That is also definitely want to cut that. Or do I need to? Yeah, I think I'll cut it back a little bit. So, um, I could still have like a exa or exhaust tip put on there if I wanted to, and just cut it back some and put a tip on there. But for now, I'm gonna rock it like that. And then something else came in the mail the other day. <laughs> oh. So these are the brake lines. Um, I'll go over it more when I do the video on it, but I did order it from Inline Tube, and you got that classic or yeah, the classic G Body Garage calendar. There's a discount code in there. I think it's um, G Body 10. Get 10% off of it, so that definitely helped out. Um, I didn't get the kit I wanted. I was looking at another company, and they had the quarter inch, and I think three sixteenths. Um, so they had those two brake lines with all the fittings and everything that I needed, but it was sold out, even sold out on Amazon. So I was like, ah, I didn't want to spend, or I didn't want to buy two separate kits and then, um, turn around and spend up. I think they were, they wanted like 40 bucks each for the, each kit individually. I think I got this one from inline two, um, for about 65. So. This is actually a kit off of, uh, I think, an OBS or, um, yeah, like the OBS uh, trucks. So, pretty much just needed the brake lines and the fittings. And like I said, it was about 60, it was like 70, then the discount code knocked it down a little bit. So, um, I definitely have a video going over that in depth a little bit more when it's time to. Uh, get started on the uh, brakes so yeah it's getting close but other than that I just wanted to finish up the exhaust which I did um, so we're good there one step closer like I said I kind of have a deadline for the car now which hopefully it's uh, finished way before then but the deadline is probably July 10th or pretty much the week of July 4th um, because I am planning on having it out at the classic G body garage meet out in Ohio I think that's July 13th so I have Mona Lisa out there <laughs> um, but yeah that's that's kind of the deadline for the for the car of course it should be done before then or at least out on the street here and there but I'm gonna call it a night. You guys see that nice sunset? But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night and go inside. And that's it.